Hey, what's up you guys? Check this out. Chances are you have not heard of this, so listen up. I just discovered a brand new tool that has made a huge impact on the speed of my workflow inside of After Effects. It just came out about a week ago, and if you're like me, you're gonna flip out when you see how cool this is. It's called Keyframe Wingman, and it makes easing your keyframes much easier and faster. It's a free tool made by Mr. Horse, and I'll put a link below in the description. Little disclaimer, I am not being paid to make this video, I just thought it was cool. Basically what Keyframe Wingman is doing is it's allowing you to quickly add easy ease to your keyframes and then quickly tweak the keyframe velocity. Quick example. <laughs> Let's say you have this skydiver dude landing and you want it to come in and land smoothly because it's landing too abruptly. Okay, normally you would right click on this last keyframe, add an easy ease, then right click and go to keyframe velocity and change the incoming and outgoing velocity to adjust the ease. No. Today, you're gonna stop doing that. Open up your handy dandy keyframe wingman, adjust the slider, and boom, you're done. That's it. Once again, the link is below. You'll download a tool called Animation Composer. Keyframe wingman is a tool that's inside of that. If you stick with me, I'll show you what the installation process looks like and how I like to use it. If you have to get going because you're like a little kid on Christmas morning who can't wait to open up that one gift. Oh my God! I understand. Enjoy your gift. I'll see you next time. For the rest of you, I love you. Let's unbox this gift, shall we? It's the one! It's the one! Wait, 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 I forgot to tell you guys. The lower third that I use as an example in this tutorial, which you'll see in a minute, you can download that. The link to that is in the description below. All right, cool. First thing, just click on the link in the description. Go down here and click on Download Animation Composer. Then click on Download for Windows or Download for Mac. I'm gonna download for Mac. So here we go, here's the folder that I just downloaded. We have Animation Composer Installer right here. Just double click on this and install this bad boy. All right, and then once you're inside of After Effects, just click on the window up here and go to Animation Composer. And inside of more tools, we're gonna click on Keyframe Wingman. We're not gonna talk about any other tools but this one in this tutorial. And what I like to do just to hide it is I'll just drag it and just kind of drop it up here somewhere. I like to store it in the top of this tab here. And that's it for installation. All right, so really quick, let me just show you guys how easy this is to use. This is the lower third that I'm giving you guys for free to download. We have our keyframe wingman up here. I'm gonna go ahead and undock this thing and bring it down so we can see what we're doing. Just stretch this out a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and solo this layer so we can work with just this one. So this is just this blue line animating on. And I'm gonna hit U so we can see the keyframes. And for now, I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of the easy ease, okay? So we're gonna start over. And let's say that Okay, cool, I like this blue line, and now I wanna add an easy ease to it. All I have to do is drag a marquee over these keyframes and just move the slider, and that's it. And now I have an easy ease on there, and I can also adjust the velocity of it. Usually a number above 50 is what I usually like to go with. If you wanna go crazy, you can ramp it all the way up to 100, play it back, and see what it looks like. I think it looks pretty cool, and that's pretty much it. And if you wanna get rid of the easy ease, just drag a marquee over all the keyframes and drag the slider to zero. And you can even unconstrain the proportions so you can mess with just the easy ease in or just the easy ease out. You can adjust those numbers independently or if you wanna constrain it again, just go ahead and check this box right here and now they're gonna to move together. And that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. I hope you learned something. Make sure to get your free lower third file below. Please like this video. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already. Please share it on social media and uh, keep being awesome.